So we got up early in the dark and we came out to Binalong Bay in the Bay of Fires, hoping for that epic sunrise. But unfortunately, just like Reedy's jokes, it doesn't look like the punchline's gonna get us. Just means we'll have to come back on a nicer day. And I'll have to tell better jokes. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Here we go, a little swim in the Bay of Fires. How's this sand? Beautiful. <laughs> Probably the first time we really got a feel for that Tassie cold water. It was absolutely freezing in the Bay of Fires. Right now we're heading over to the zip line. I know Reedy's got a little fear of heights, so I'm looking forward to this. Should be a bit of fun. We were off to Treetops Adventures at Hollybank. Once we got there, they took us straight into the ropes course, and I tell you what, this thing is up there. I have an absolute hectic fear of heights, but this was gonna take my fear of heights to another level because they took us straight into the black run. Mate, I'm a bit nervous. Uh, I just got here, I wasn't expecting this, and it's way higher than I thought, so let's do it. Straight to the black course. Don't look down. <laughs> Whippet was definitely more at home on that course. He was miles ahead of me. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, there might have been a little bit of cheating through the course, but um, it was the only way that I actually felt safe. We were like 30 metres up. So I reckon I was up on the last obstacle where I had to launch off and have faith in this contraption. I reckon I was probably up there for about, oh, Felt like 10 minutes, but it was probably closer to an hour. Just jumping, fairy! <laughs> I'm just putting, I can't put my trust in this stupid machine. There's no backup. Get down, you idiot. We want to go do more stuff. Um, so obviously we've mastered the ropes course. We absolutely nailed the black color course thing. It's meant to be for professionals and we just made it look ridiculous. After the ropes course, it was straight over to the zip lines. Now at Treetops Adventures Hollybank, they have the longest and fastest zip line in Australia. Oh, gonna go over. oh my God! Hey! Sayonara! Oh, man, I was going 64k an hour. <laughs> Absolutely awesome adventure. Flying through the trees, you get a really good perspective of how high you are and just how fast you're moving in the wind. It was really good. Making our way down the east coast of Tassie, the scenery was sensational. I, you know, I can't stress how important it is, I think, to do Tassie by road, just because there's so much to see and do. But as we rolled down the east coast, we went to Freycinet National Park and we headed up Mount Amos. I've, I've heard a lot of things about the hike up Mount Amos and I tell you what, it did not disappoint. Mount Amos, I was thinking beautiful views and a nice climb. Uh-uh, not for the faint-hearted. At some points you feel like you're actually proper rock climbing, like free solo stuff, it was gnarly. The views down over Wineglass Bay were literally breathtaking. Like as I came over the top, it just literally took my breath away. I couldn't believe how lucky we were to get to experience it. Mount Amos in all its glory, Wineglass Bay down the bottom, but as much as I'd like to stay up here for a couple of hours, we've got to get back down and on to the next adventure. Let's go. I'd heard great things about Tassie oysters and just by chance, there happens to be a tour called Oyster Bay Tours. So we chucked some waders on. I'd never put waders on before, but it was an interesting experience. And then we headed out and Declan gave us a full running tour of an oyster's, oyster's life and its cycle of life. The age of an oyster on your dinner plate, on average, is about two years old. Really? However, oysters uh, like this one is 12 years old, but they can actually grow up to 30 years old and they can grow up to about a metre long. 
so lucky again we absolutely nailed the sunset and and then learning how to shuck them and a glass of riesling and just magic but i simply go forwards and back oh and mate. he opens up wow. piece of cake oh my god that is unbelievable mm, so good sun setting over the mountains we just climbed Eating wonderful oysters with one of your best mates, can't get any better. Here's to oysters and mussels. You could do with a few. <laughs>